Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide around Spa for Daily Race C. I'm Jay Bay Racing and I'm here in association with Kirith Esports to give you this track guide for this week's Daily Race C. Um, once again we are in the Persia RCZ, it looks like it's going to be the OP car but you can also jump in the McLaren if you want something a little bit different. You're bored of driving the Persia by now which three weeks back to back I imagine you might be. Jump in the McLaren for something a little bit different or anything that's really going to be good on fuel. So if you enjoy driving a car it's stable and you can manage the fuel well that is definitely going to be important. Uh, this is eight laps and the strategy seems to be a little bit of fuel saving just to make your pit stop a bit shorter but not changing tyres so it's going to be a really interesting one if you do change tyres obviously you can push that a little bit more in the second half of the race but it is only eight laps uh, so definitely not changing tyres seems to be able to work but you do need to keep an eye on your fuel because you haven't got anywhere near enough to make it to the end um, I bet there'll be somebody trying to make it a no stop but I certainly haven't been able to make it work on the races that I've tried so Managed to get a good lap time here. We're going to go in and break the corners down for you and then play the lap out in full speed as always. If you do enjoy the lap guide, then please do drop a like and consider subscribing and head over to JBay Racing on YouTube if you're watching this on Kirith's channel and you'll see my channel for a bit more GT7 content. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go for the start of the lap then and it's important to exit the chicane in second gear so you can get good acceleration coming up to the first breaking point. Speaking of which, first breaking marker is just after the 100 meter board, so sort of somewhere in between the 100 and the 50. We're going to come down to first gear to get the car to turn in, clip a little bit of this curb on the inside, but then shift to second for the acceleration, and that will give you a much better launch and less chance of losing the back end as you exit corner one. Something to bear in mind with this car is that you want to rev the gears out as far as you can and never use sixth gear, so watch out for that. And now coming up to Eau Rouge, we're going to cut a little bit of this curb here on the left hand side and then see turn in very gently. Uh, for the first half there. You don't want to use too much steering angle because you're going to risk spinning the car and unsettling it so just a very gentle turn in and that will get you through there nicely. As I say staying in fifth and revving the car out. During the race you're probably going to want to short shift a little bit more and use a bit of sixth gear just to save some fuel but definitely not during quality. For this next corner we're braking just after the start of the kerb and we're going to come down to third initially but then second gear to help turn the car in little burst of power in between uh, the right and the left hand part of the chicane here but then shift into third as you feed the power in come all the way out to the left here until you almost touch this curb and then just lift and coast no brake needed for this corner and you can get back on the power pretty soon and use this curb on the left as runoff now for this downhill right hander that we're coming up to I'm going to brake just after the start of the curb again down to third initially but then do use second gear to help rotate the car don't worry if the car slides a little bit, it may weld you when you're coming down here, but just wait for the grip to come back and then feed the power in, in second initially, but then shifting up to third for the middle part of this corner. Just a tiny dab of brake needed just before the uh, signal box on your right there, and let the car turn in, and then again you can get on the power pretty early coming down the hill here. This next left-hander can be a bit of a tricky one, but we're going to be looking out for the 50 meter board. Keep the car in fifth put a little bit of brake down and then shift down to fourth once you feel the car start turning in. You don't want to downshift too early there because you are going to again unsettle the car and risk losing the back end. But once you're in fourth gear you can feed the power in really confidently and you can run out to the right here a little bit more. I cut it off uh, a little bit uh, narrow which probably cost me a little bit of time there. Brake in here just on the start of the red and white kerb. Once again down to third initially but then using second gear to help rotate the car around bit of a burst of power in second but then shift into third and then just lift for the left hander so no brake required just a little lift you see I don't even take my foot fully off the power there and then back on the power and you can use this curve on the right for runoff bit of brake and down to third no need for second gear here just keep the car in third clip this curve on your right hand side and get the power in nice and early now an important corner here to get a good exit on we're going to shift up into fourth and then just a tiny lift to help the car turn in and then back on the power so you see I only lift off about 25% or so on the throttle just to let the car turn and then get straight back on the accelerator. Uh, it's going to be really important to get a good run here as it is a long straight down the back. Now for this left hander you can use the sort of turquoise runoff on your right but make sure your left tyres don't cross that white line. No need to lift but do turn in gently so just like when you're going through a rouge you want to turn in nice and gently there so that you don't unsettle the car and brake in about a car's length after the 150 metre board there. I downshift into first a little bit early here, you can leave it a bit later to get into first gear uh, but clip the right hand side of the first part of the bus stop, keep it in first through the middle but then shift a second as you get on the power, so you see that I'm getting on the power just before the apex of the left hand part of the bus stop and then you can be on the accelerator nice and early to get a good run across the line. That was good enough for a 218.696 so I hope that gives you guys and girls some good tips to get a good quality time in. 
Look out for the fuel saving strategy in the race and it's going to take a couple to get used to it. But we'll leave you with the lap to play out at full speed here. Please do drop a like and a comment if you've enjoyed the video. And we we'll look forward to seeing you for some races in the week. Thanks very much.